Robotic hands are nothing new, but the human-like hand this British company has been perfecting for 20 years is different, says managing director Rich Walker. You can get a robot to do things with a gripper or a claw, but it's hard. So we thought build a human-like hand and that will make life as easy as possible for the robot. The idea behind the dexterous hand, as it's called, is to free people from doing unpleasant jobs, says Walker. Now that might be a dangerous job, it might be a dirty job, it might just be a job that's difficult to do physically because of location, but if you can put a robot there with our hands on it, then you can control it to do the task. Having the robot work remotely and controlling it with the gloves took place in 2019. You put the gloves on, you make the robot move, and so as you move your hand, the robot hand does the same movement. You immediately see what you're doing, and people have just turned around and said, and I work in pharmaceutical manufacturing and I could use this so that we didn't contaminate products. Or they say, I work in nuclear engineering and we could use this so that we, we don't take radiation dosages or we're not at risk of that. Some of the gloves provide a sense of touch. It's called haptics. And that will let you, when the robot touches something, feel it with your fingertips. Experts say it's no wonder people are embracing this kind of automation. Who wants a really unsafe job? Uh, who, who wants a really, really dirty job? I would say probably no one. Koenig says people should expect more human-machine partnerships going forward. It'll help save lives. Uh, it will improve uh, our experiences and, and free us up to do other things that are maybe more important to us. These are all use cases that are emerging today and will, will become more frequent in the future. Julie Tabo, VOA News.